in uh, the roof, panels for the roof. We're gonna get that as well. One thing I don't really want is, as you can see, this dark area. I don't want that to be... I don't want that to be a hole there. I'm just going to kind of erase, erase that area there. And it seems that that's uh, within the texture. So I might want to fix that. that okay and now let's see what else we want to fix I want to fix this one right here. Although I think it, uh, I think it might work just to let it be this way. I'll just leave it that way, and if I see any problems, then I'll I'll change that to something different. Okay, so basically this is what we have, and actually I'm going to save this as a separate file. Let's save this as a normal. It's going to be a copy. And it's going to be a Photoshop file. Right now, I'm still working with the diffuse, so I'm going to open that new one. Normal map. And I'm going to close the other one just so I don't mess with it. Okay. And as a final thing, I may want to use the levels, maybe just to increase the contrast just a little bit. And finally, we have to flatten the image. If we go to layer, flatten image. And finally, we go to filter, NVIDIA tools, and normal map filter. Okay. And basically, we want to set this to max RGB. I'll set it to a filter type of 4 and scale 2. And there's uh, there's more to it than just doing it this way, but I'll just do it this way for now. And I'll set this to invert Y. And everything else should be fine. Just make sure your options look this way. I'll leave it up for a few seconds. Okay, and now just hit OK. And as you can see, it becomes a bluish type of normal map so we can come and see what it looks like okay so now what we can do is we save it go to save as and let's save it as a targa file copy actually i'm going to go to my channels and for my normal map i don't want it to have an alpha okay now go to file and save as and as a copy and targa. Okay, now save it. So 
now we can go see what it looks like in Maya. So, for connecting the normal map under bot map, bot mapping, click here. Uh, it's a file type, and make sure you switch to use as normal tangent space normals. Okay, tangent space normals. Uh, click on the arrow here, and we can load the image. Okay, and now to actually see the normal map on the model, you have to switch your renderer to a, either high quality or viewport 2.0. Okay, and as you can see, the transparency is still getting in the way, but uh, and if you want to, you can just disconnect the transparency. The transparency reconnection so that you can see the normal map. So, as you can see, we can the panels look a lot better now. You can actually see there's panels there. And there's even some bumps for the actual textures. And for the roof. Maybe the panels for the roof may need a bit more. And we can also use the create a light create let's create a point light I'll just drag that up and I'm going to enable my lighting here use all lights so that I can see what the bot map looks like it helps me see more with the lighting you can see it better Okay, so we have that for the for the normal map. And again, all you need to do is just download the NVIDIA tools, uh, the NVIDIA normal map filter, and that's basically all you have to do. Close that. So we have our normal map here. And again, and if you wanted to. Uh, make your normal more strong, make the effect of it stronger than what it has, than what it is here. You can just duplicate this layer, set it to overlay or soft light, and it increases the intensity of it. But I wouldn't go too far, especially, I think what we have here is more than enough. Okay. I'm going to use the same file for my normal map, undo. And I'm going to create a specular map. So basically, we have to decide what's going to be transparent. I mean, what's going to be shiny and what's not going to be shiny. In our case, since uh, since our water tower is most uh, mostly pretty rusty, basically we don't want it to be too uh, shiny. But I still, it can still. Uh, benefit from some shininess to it so basically what is white is going to be most shiny and what is black or the darkest is going to be less shiny so for this case I think we can overall I can just use a levels and just increase the contrast between the whole image And I think we can try this one out, try to see what this will look like. So I'm going to layer flatten image. Again, I don't need an alpha for this. And I'm going to go to save as uh, water tower specular. So there's a target file. It's a copy and save it. 
So I'm going to Maya now. And for the specular to actually see it here in Maya, uh, first of all you have to switch your uh, material from Lambert to something like a Fong or Blend material that has a that actually has some shininess to it. Okay, so now that we have a material that is shiny, as you can see here. We can start, we can uh, plug in the specular map that we created. So that's going under specular color. Click there, file, and just load your map. And I'm going to reduce the cosine power all the way down. And it shouldn't have any reflectivity. Okay. And that's basically it. As you can see on my viewport, shininess doesn't really uh, get to see the shininess too much. But if you use uh, render 2.0, viewport 2.0, you should be able to see the specular highlights on the model a lot better. And I think I also made it a bit too dark. I may want to change the way I have it. Again, the darker it is, the less shiny it's going to be. As you can see now, it's a bit more shiny. And again, you may want to need to do a render to actually see how shiny it is. And it also depends on the lighting. Okay, so that's basically everything there is to creating the texture maps, the color map, normal map, and specular map. And basically all we have to do is export this to a game engine, or if you just want to do a render in Maya, I'll probably have a tutorial on how to render this within Maya. Uh, 